How many of us have been through, and this is an easy question, how many of us have been through a major change in the past year? Everybody's hand in the room. Here in real estate, everybody's hand should be up. We've all been through major changes in the last year. Now, how many of us in the room can remember a change that we feared, but yet, once it occurred, it brought about great benefit? Is that sort of everybody? I mean, most times we fear change, right? But it typically, if we can break through that fear, on the other side of that change is this great outcome. It's this great, this great thing that we can reach. The one thing I want you guys to understand is change is inevitable. It's completely unavoidable. It's going to happen. Things are constantly changing in our economy. Things are constantly changing with technology. Things are changing with the way that we communicate with one another. Things are constantly changing, but we have a choice that we can make right now, okay? We have a choice that we can make. We can either embrace it, cooperate, and adapt to change, or you can try to resist it. And what happens when you resist change? It runs over you. That's right. It runs right over you. Change will sweep you right over if you, if you try to be resistant to it. It's going to happen. Look at what's happening with General Motors right now. It's a prime example. They resisted change for so long, and they almost have gotten swept away by it. Now, just maybe, just maybe they've woken up just in time to start making some changes. Just maybe they're trying to now reform their products and come up with new, more innovative type products and innovate their company, innovate their systems. Just maybe. But think about it, they would have embraced it when it first started happening. 20 years ago, they would still probably be the largest car company in America. They would still have the greatest market share in the, in the world. They had wonderful customers, but they didn't embrace change. And you can see what happened to them. I always, my grandfather used to always tell me about the um, railroad companies. Because at one time, railroads were some of the biggest industries here in this country. They didn't look at themselves as transportation companies. So when the airplane came along, they got swept away. They didn't adapt. They didn't change. They didn't move along with the times. So that's what I would tell you. No matter what's going on in the economy or the markets, because the markets are always like this. They're always cyclical. But you got to be willing to say, I'm going to embrace change, and I'm going to adapt and cooperate and, and, and make the changes that I need to, to make. I want to give you guys this formula right here. E plus R equals O. E plus R equals O. And what that means is event plus response equals outcome. Guess what? It's really easy <laughs> for you to start getting new outcomes. Guess what you got to do? Just change your response. It's just that simple. We have events happen in our lives all the time. For example, you get a bonus at work, so you're making an extra $400. Alex decides to go blow that at Natty Green's down on Elm Street. <laughs> now Alex is broke. Okay? The event was that he got the raise. His response was to go blow the money. The outcome was that he's broke. But through all that, he had, he had complete control the entire time. And then if he wanted a new outcome, all he had to do was change the response to the event. We can't keep responding the same way hoping and thinking that we're going to get new outcomes.